That was a long video to make. Gee, I wonder what my warm and loving fans have to say about my new video that will not awake any kind of controversy whatsoever. Let's see. No. They love our videos, right? <laughs> it's just color! <laughs> it's just color! And that's why I stopped making videos. Nah, I'm just kidding. I just was kind of busy. Yes guys, finally back from all the work and school stuff I had to do, but the majority of the time I've been playing this game. This right here, Pokemon Y, and I'll give you a very quick review of it. It's amazing, I love it, I love it, I love it. Maybe not for the same reason that everyone else does, because frankly the story of the game is not really that great, but I don't play Pokemon for the story, I play for the gameplay, and this is really the game that finally, I think, set Pokemon in stone, it is, it is one of the best RPGs of all time. But enough about that. Each generation of Pokemon obviously you get a barrage of new creatures to collect, and there are a lot of Pokemon out there that you think you see a specific Pokemon and you think to yourself, oh it must be this one type, but then you find out it's the other type. And after that <laughs> overwhelming positive perception of my last top 10, <laughs> I'm gonna make a new one. So join me fellas to the top 10 most confusing Pokemon types. You think of a better title than me, okay? Number 10. Okay, this entry is a bit of a stretch, but bear with me. You know what I liked about Pokemon X and Y? How it managed to retcon some of the older Pokemon to become fairy types. However, that wasn't the first time this happened. But it was Magnemite and Magneton who were the first Pokemon to ever be retconned. So I know what you're thinking. Do I have a problem with the Magnezone line being still electric? The answer is no. Perfect typing, as a matter of fact. So why are they on the list? Their ability. Think about it, you see those Pokemon float close to 100% of the time and they don't have levitate? That doesn't even begin to make sense. So Pokemon like Gengar, Electros, and Rotom Wash who have legs and you can clearly see them stand on the ground have levitate, but Magnezone doesn't? I think the ability it has are pretty decent and I assume if it had levitate it would have avoided the biggest weakness it has, but... It's still rather underwhelming when you think about it. I mean, if this is the ground right there, this is how Bangalore would actually fight. So it can barely move. Good job, Game Freak. Good job. Just give it levitate! Number 9. Now, the next one on the list, honestly, isn't really much of a gripe that I have, because honestly, I think its typing is okay already. But get this, you have Yanma, which is a really good dragonfly Pokemon, which I kind of liked in Gen 2. But get this, his evolution, Yanmega, oh, that thing looks sick. Yeah, I definitely love the design, it looks really cool. Wouldn't it be cool if it was Bug Dragon, though? Ooh, now we're talking a Bug Dragon Pokemon. It will even eliminate that stupid four-time weakness to rock, and by gosh darn, we have so many bug flying Pokemon, it would have been amazing to have that one as a Bug Dragon Pokemon. Yeah, you'd have to make its ability levitate, because obviously it uses its wings, but um, I would still would have liked it if it had smaller wings so it wouldn't be able to fly as much, just like Caesar in a way. And um, maybe still retain speed boost, because I think that's an amazing ability it has, so... Small gripe, not a big of a deal. I still like Yanmega a lot, so that's why it's so low on the list. Number 8. You guys all know Misty from the Pokemon anime, right? What is her most famous Pokemon? No. Not really, no. No? Oh, you're not even trying right now. Oh, God, no, no. Go back. No. No. 
<laughs> of course, I'm talking about Psyduck. How can you forget about Psyduck and it going ay 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 like Alpha from the Power Rangers with a slightly lower voice? That was pretty cool. But here's the thing, Psyduck. Now I know it's a duck, obviously, but the Psy part is short for Psychic. Why is it not a Psychic type? I mean, the anime is seen use confusion every single time. It should be a Psychic type. No. Nope. It's another mono water type, because there's so many of them already in Gen 1 to begin with, we needed another one, and he's probably one of the weaker ones too, so there's absolutely nothing special about it. If it wasn't for the anime, I would have never ever even considered having a Psyduck in my team. Sorry Psyduck, you kind of suck duck. Suck duck? Oh, that was a bad joke. Number 7 So the next set of Pokemon I wanted to talk about are two normal Pokemon that haven't been retconned to become fairy Pokemon, which are Chansey and Aldino. And frankly, I can see why not making Chansey and Blixie fairy types, because they're gonna be able to roll things like crazy. And they're already overpowered as it is, so I can let that slide. Aldino, however, I think it would have been cool if it was a fairy type. I mean, it has those like little like wings things on his head that makes it look like a fairy type. It's pinkish like a fairy type. It looks more like a fairy type than Snubble, for example, so it should be a fairy type. Case closed. Next number. Number six. Okay, wait, 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 wait. Gengar's cool. He's the very first ghost Pokemon that everyone used. Of course Gengar is awesome. Why is he a poison type? That's the question. And here's the problem with Gengar being a poison type. That led to the whole war between Psychic and Ghost Pokemon as if to which one is superior than the other. Back in Generation 1, Psychic types were considered the most overpowered type out there. However, Ghost types were created in order to counter those types, but there was a problem. Ghost attacks weren't even super effective against Psychics back then. At all. And moreover, because of the fact that Ghastly, Hunter, and Gengar were also poison types, Psychic types were also super effective against them. And that made people believe that Psychic attacks are super effective against Ghost Pokémon. Because you can barely tell those Pokémon are poison to begin with. I don't even recall one instance that the Pokédex, the anime, or any kind of medium for the matter mentioned anything about them being poison. I would actually think it would make more sense to make him Dark Ghost, because, I don't know, they're kind of dark mischievous Pokémon as it is, so might as well make it Dark types. I don't know, poison. At least they make really nice counter to Fairy Pokémon now. Number 5 now this is one of those don't get me wrong entry on the list, but uh, Lucario. I have no idea why it's a steel time, I mean it's definitely fighting, you can easily tell. But you tell me just because of that tiny little spike over there he's a steel type? So let me reiterate this. Just because he has this spike over there that makes Lucario a fighting steel type. He only has frail defenses to begin with, even a regular type attack can one hit KO it. So what's the point of having it as a steel type? I mean, it can be uh, psychic fighting because it can read auras, that would be cool. Or maybe dark fighting because he knows dark pulse, that's pretty awesome. Or maybe dragon fighting. Did we even have a dragon fighting? No, we didn't have a dragon fighting. Why not make Lucario dragon fighting? Yes, he's not really a dragon, but come on. Anubis is kind of a mystical creature, I guess, based on Egyptian mythology. I mean, that would be freaking cool. God damn it, Game Freak. God damn. Number four. You know, for a Pokemon called Florges, you know, like Flora, Really shocking that the Pokemon is not a grass type. It's just Mono Fairy. I can count some slack with the pre evolutions, Floet and Flabeep! But for a final Pokemon expect it's something a bit more special. But, but, but this is not it! Now, you know what's funny about all those three not being a grass type? And now the Pokemon has been retconned to become a grass fairy type. 
Coltone and Whimsicott. Yes, the Whimsicott family are now grass fairy type. Number three. <sighs> Where do I even begin with this one? When Pokemon X and Y was first announced, I was very excited to see the two lead legendaries, Xerneas and Ivelto. And then there was this one theory that I actually had on mine. Since we have a Pokemon X and then Pokemon Y, we're probably gonna have a Pokemon Z. Therefore, we should probably have a version based on a Z legendary. And that's Zygarde, and I thought to myself, cool, another cool legendary type. And I saw the design, and I thought to myself, okay, maybe not the most exciting design like Xerneas and Ivelto, but I don't know, maybe it can be something cool like Bug Dark, or maybe like Dark Dragon, or I don't know, anything cool like that. It's Ground Dragon. This thing is Ground Dragon. Like this haven't happened before. I really wish I can appreciate Zygarde more, but Flygon and Garchomp exist and they're already Ground Dragon type. I'm sorry Zygarde, I wanna like you, but as you stand, you're number three on my list. Number two! Imagine this. A tree. One of the first things that you think of when you think of the word tree. You think of leaves usually, yeah. And leaves are really similar to, I don't know, grass, plantation lives. So here comes to the Wudo, a Gen 2 Pokemon, and it's a rock type? A rock type. Pseudo Wudo is a rock type. Why is it a rock type? I mean, what? Because the stump is supposed to be made of rock? I don't even get it. I guess the whole idea behind Pseudo Wudo is that it mimics a tree, so that way it's not an actual tree. It's just a fake tree, so I guess that kind of makes sense. But be honest. If you saw Pseudo Wudo right now and you don't know nothing about Pokemon, and they would ask you what type you think it would be, I would assume the majority of people are gonna say grass, and to me that's incredibly confusing. And that's one of the main reasons why I never really liked Pseudo Wudo, because, well, first of all, the Pokemon's incredibly weak to begin with, and second of all, <sighs> to me, making it a rock type is just a missed potential. I think it would have been really cool to make it a grass type Pokemon and give it a lot of utility moves like Sleep Powder or like Lich Seed, instead of stuff like, I don't know, Mimic and Rock Throw. Yay! Number one! For the number one spot, I'm pretty sure the moment I'm gonna tell you that, everyone is gonna go, yeah, why is that? Or at least some similar reaction to that. You guys ready? Ta-da! So, let me get this straight. Let me get this straight. Pokemon like Magnezone cannot float, don't have levitate, and yet Gyarados can fly. Gyarados can fly. He doesn't even have a levitate. If you give Gyarados levitate, that would make complete sense. No, it's not even that. It's a flying type. What? What's the deal with flying Gyarados? There are two better options for that, either Water Dragon or Water Dark, and thankfully, the Mega Evolution is Water Dark, which makes a whole lot more sense than Water Flying. Granted, Water Flying doesn't give it a whole lot of weaknesses, only two, even though one of them is a Type 4 weakness, but still, I just baffled. And besides, after Gyarados, there are two other Pokemon that use the Water Flying idea to its fullest, but as for Gyarados, if I see that thing fly, I'll shoot it down. He's a magical Gyarados. To the sky on a magical Shoot it down. Thank you very much for watching this video, guys, and I hope you're gonna like it a bit more than the last top 10. But if you have any other Pokemon you were thinking of was one type, but it turned out to be another type, just let me know in the comments. I read them all the time. Although it's hard for me to respond to every single one, but I'm doing my best that I can, of course. So, I hope you maybe want to check my other videos I have here. I would always like it if you can subscribe right there. Just su subscribe. Just said subscriber there. We'll click there. You can subscribe to my videos. Like them, of course. Share with your friends. And I'm going to have a more proper review next time. So, look forward to that, guys. And, um...
by all means, take care, and of course, let's close it off with a classic blah.